Okay, let's open Blender, delete the light, the camera, go to geometry nodes, close this, we don't need it, close that, create a new profile, and we're going to start with a curve. So Shift A, curve line. Let's connect it here, and I want to put it in this axis, in the green. So I'm going to put this zero and for example two meters. So we have this straight line in the y axis. Perfect. We need to put more cuts because this line only have two points, this one and this one. And we need more points so later we can animate each individual point falling from the top. So to add more points we need to put resample curve. And this number is the number of cuts where later we can put instance objects. Perfect. Let me put some order. Ctrl G, F2, curve line. Okay, so we want to change the position of this line. So we need a set position. And we want to offset the Z, this animation. So we need to do something here. So we are going to start with the position node. Because we want to make an animation from the original position, that is this one, that's why we're using this. And for example, have another value where here we can say go from this to this, or in the other side, from this to that. Perfect. So we need to put something in the middle. First, we need to say we want only to work with the z axis, this one. So we need to put something like combine and select the z axis because now is using x. So no, we say use the z axis. Perfect. I'm going to click here so you have a better view. And now it's really easy. First, we need to put a math node in add. So if we click here, we can change the value of the position. This will be our animation. So let me put animation. Okay, but we don't want to move all the line like that. We want to move it each individual point from this to this. So how we do that? With another math node. After that, let me name this. And here we are going to put another math node and select multiply. This will be the height. So let me put height. So for example, if you want maximum two meters, of height, put here two meters. Maybe you're thinking, okay, but this is not two meters. But if we click here, we can animate that. Now we only have one step. Which one? Because if you click like that, you are thinking, but this is not working, Chan. Don't worry, just click here, clam. And now, look, if I put this in maximum, for example, one point, everything is in this value. So whatever you put here is the top. Two meters. If you want three meters, put three meters. And now we only have to animate this. So if we decrease this, we are saying from the start, because this is the start, remember, this point, go down. And when it goes down, it stops. Look, let me zoom. So we can create this animation. If you want more resolution, just put more cuts. Let me put a mesh so it's easier to see the line. Curve to mesh. And let me put circle curve. Something like 0.5. Something like that. Okay, so now you can see it better. Remember, this is the height and this is the animation. Let me put something like one value so it's easier to see. You can see that it's really easy. It's really, really important that you click here. If not, it's not going to work. It's only doing this. So always click here, clamp. So to create this animation, just put, for example, one. One is like not doing anything. So we can create a keyframe here. Just press A. And for example, I'm going to make like in 100 frames to go down. 
So we are going to click here. I think it's minus one. I'll just put whatever value is going here. And now press again A to confirm. I'm going to make this shorter. And if we press play, we have this animation. Easy, right? Remember, if you understand this, now you can put objects. You can delete this and put objects. But first, I want you to understand this. If you want to make this animation, for example, more like that, just put in the middle a float curve. So let me put some order. This here and this here. So if we put a float curve, now if we let it like that, it's the same animation. However, if we change this, let me stop, look. We can change the curve transition. So this pattern is like the transition from the bottom to top. So you can play with that to create different animations. You can make it smoother. By the way, I think this If you want this animation to go normal, just press T and put linear. Remember, if you want more resolution, just add more points. OK, you get the base. Now, let me delete this. And let's convert the points to instance. Instance on points. And let's put, for example, something like cube. OK, let me make this smaller, something like 0 0.05. And I don't want so many cubes. So let me put, for example, 30. OK, perfect. Let me delay this animation so we don't get any problem. And we have this, as you can see. Look, let me do something. Let me make these cubes longer. So I want in the X, so something like that. You see? Remember, this is animation. So we achieve this cool animation. If you don't want it so high, just make this smaller. For example, 0 0.5. Now you can play with different values like height, length, number of points, whatever, to create this cool animation like objects falling from the sky, to create this effect of building objects, path, etc. If you enjoyed this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can download this project and many more in my Patreon. So, see you next video.